Brett Otten up with KnuckleJunkies.com here with uh, Tyron Woodley. A uh, few days out from Saturday's uh, Strike Force uh, Rockhold versus Jardine. Uh, big fight coming up. Uh, just h how's camp been so far? Um, camp's been uh, um, been a trial, man. I think um, for me, it's just always a it's always a lesson in every camp. And this one was focused, and um, um, it seems that you know with the gym and with um, training and with you know being a father and a husband that. Every time around, it's going to be extreme focus, and um, you know, I learned some things about myself in this camp, about my situation, things to do better. But um, man, I feel really good. You know, if it took all into this Monday for me to feel good, then you know, then so be it. So I got some good guys in my corner. Um, Jason Singleton, Dean Thomas has been in town. Um, Micah Bagby's been helping out. Um, Tiago Alves was in town last week. Jason High. Um, so I've been getting a lot, lot of help. You know, I even had Randy Couture standing at the cage giving me some instruction. So um, I just feel like this fight is just – I just want to get in there and tear this dude up and get out and get right back here and do it right. Uh, Jordan Mean, uh, kind of a hot shot uh, up-and-comer. Just, you know, thoughts on what uh, what he kind of brings to the table? Uh, he brings a lot to the table, but just the up-and-coming part is just – you know, I, I feel like I've already been in that stage, and I feel like he will be a champion one day, but, you know, it's just not his time yet. So um, he's going to have to get back to the drawing board after this fight. Uh, it's, it's been about, you know, six, seven months, you know, since your last fight. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure you're kind of kind of itching to, to get back in there. Yeah, I'm mission to get in there and get this get this done. You know, I, I've been, I had some wars in the last couple of fights, and I think it's time for me to get some of those t 10, 12 second knockouts or quick submissions that everybody else getting in love with. Um, so I'm going to go out there, you know, if I see something, I'm going to hop on it like uh, white on rice. But um, I, I think, you know, obviously I've showed that I can go to 15 minutes. I can go with tough, you know, n top 10 guys. Um, but also, I've knocked guys out quick, and um, you know, and I'm just praying that I get in there and knock this dude out. Been here with uh, T Woods Camp uh, for for how long? Just kind of how, how long uh, camp's been going for uh, this coming up fight? Well, Tyron's been in camp for uh, for a couple weeks now, bringing up some guys from down south Florida and and uh, some other guys from in the area. But uh, I've been up here for about a, a week now, working with him. You know, trying to finalize his camp, working on his ground stuff, working on some different strategies. Man, he's looking sharp. Uh, you know, what, what, what? any specifics that he's kind of been working on with this up, you know, upcoming fight and just things that you guys have been stressing or? Well, not really. You know, Tyron's a pretty well-rounded guy. It's just a matter of him, uh, you know, getting his game plan together. And, you know, and it's not really a specific game plan because we want him to be strong everywhere. Wherever the fight goes, we want him to be ready. So we're just working on that and just trying to make him a better fighter all around. And this guy is just, you know, another guy in his way, I think. So you, you know, may have an advantage as far as you know, maybe muscling him around a little bit. I mean, do you, do you echo that as well? Do you think that that could be an advantage for him? Or yeah, I think I think Tyron's got a pretty good idea. You know, he's he's been working with Jason High, who actually fought mm -hmm. this opponent before, and you know, they've kind of collaborated a little bit and talked a little bit about you know this guy's strengths and weaknesses. And I think Tyron, whoever Tyron fights, I think he's going to have an advantage in strength just because he's such a powerful guy. I mean, he's like fighting a lion. Um, but, you know, but we're just, you know, he brought me here. I have a kind of a different game that I fight. So, uh, you know, he brought me in here to kind of smooth some things out for him. So, um, you know, it's just been a tremendous experience working with him. I mean, he's one of the better athletes I've, I've seen in this game. When you look at this card on Saturday, I mean, it's, you know, pretty much, you know, a lot of the, the strike forces, uh, big time names. And, and, and you got kind of put on this card uh, just a few weeks ago. Just uh, just your thoughts on the card and what it means to be a part of it. Well, I think it's huge. I mean, um, last year I headlined this card and um, it just said a lot at that point because what they do is they try to put their best foot forward. On a free Showtime weekend, they want to try to get people to subscribe to Showtime. So for me to be one of the guys that they picked, that they felt would, you know, um, you know, bring something to the table that people are like, oh, man, that was something extraordinary that make them want to watch Showtime and strike for us again. It's an honor that they would do that, you know, and I just got to, you know, not just for really for Showtime, but more so for the people that believe in me, the people that train for me, the people that look forward to me for supporting them. I got to go out there and I got to show people what I can do because they haven't even seen it yet, you know. Uh, you know, Scott Coker's pretty much uh, said, you know, if you if you get a win, you know, uh, coming up on Saturday that it's, it's just kind of, uh, you know, you will get, uh, you know, up up for the for the vacant belt. I mean, is that kind of what you've been hearing, feeling? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I just assume I'm gonna win this fight, and um, I haven't really. We haven't talked about it at all. You know, nobody has coached me. Nobody has. Nobody said, okay, after this fight, because. It, if I don't lose this, if I don't win this fight, it's no after this fight. So we've been talking about this kid. We've been talking about what he does well. You know, he's a young kid and he's out there having fun. And those are dangerous fighters to take because he would like nothing more than go in here and knock me off and jump me in line. But um, 
that that's that's not gonna happen. You know, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna show him that I'm the you know he has more fights, but I'm the older guy, the more experienced guy, and I'm gonna try to get in close. I'm gonna try to hit him and make him hurt. So, um, you know, I want to focus on this. Um, I've been I've been patient for this belt. It's been dangling somewhere in the wind forever, and at some point I'm gonna capture it. I feel like at this point I'm almost an uncrowned champion, and um, you know I, I I've been almost to the title. Uh, you beat this guy, you might fight for the belt. All right, if you beat this guy, you might fight by. Hey, if you do win this one, you know. So now it's just, I just gotta beat tough guys. You know, that's the end of, end of the story. <laughs>